Hello students. Today we will discuss another problem from the chapter unit and dimension. At first read the problem. The position x of a body moving with uniform acceleration depends on time t. As x equals to 2t plus 6t square, the number 2 and 6 in the equations are dimension less variable, dimensional constant, dimension less constant or dimensional value. We have to select. Okay. Now at first we have to, we will discuss that uh, two properties of dimensions. Okay. The number one property of dimension is, suppose this is an equation x plus y is equals to z. So, from the equation, we can conclude that dimension of x must be equal to dimension of y. We cannot add two physical quantities of different dimensions. Okay. When we are adding these two quantity x and y, that means the dimension of x and dimension of y are equal to each other. Okay. And the next one is the dimension of the left hand side of the equation must be equal to the dimension of the right hand side of the equation. So from the equation we can also conclude that dimension of x plus y must be equal to the dimension of z. Okay. As we are adding x and y, suppose the dimension of x is l and the dimension of y must be equal to l and we are adding two lengths. Then we will get another length. That means that if the dimension of x is L and dimension of y is also L, then the dimension of x plus y is also equals to L. So from here we can write that dimension of x must be equals to dimension of y and this is equals to dimension of x plus y. So from these two equations we can conclude that dimension of x equals to dimension of y is equals to dimension of z. So, the main two principles which we have discussed is that when we are adding or subtracting two quantities, their dimensions must be equal to each other. And the next one is the dimension of the left hand side of the equation must be equal to the dimension of the right hand side of that particular equation. Okay. In the given problem, it is said that x is equals to 2t plus 6t square. So, from this equation, we can write that the dimension of x is equals to dimension of 2t plus 6t square. And also, we can write that the dimension of 2t must be equal to dimension of 6t square. So, from these two, we can conclude that dimension of x is equals to dimension of 2t is equals to dimension of 6t square. Right? So, here x is the distance. That means the dimension of x is L. So, from this equation, we can write that dimension of 2 is equals to dimension of x divided by dimension of t. Right? And the another equation is dimension of x equals to dimension of 60 square. So from this equation we can conclude that dimension of 6 is equals to dimension of x divided by dimension of t square. So from here we can write that dimension of 2 is lt to the power minus 1 and dimension of 6 is lt to the power minus 2. Right? So, from here we can say that uh, 6 and 2 both have dimension. So, the quantities are not dimensionless. Okay. And now, uh, this is the equation x is equals to 2t plus 6t square. And it is said that the body is moving with uniform acceleration. So, we can compare this equation with this equation. S equals to ut plus half ft square. Now comparing these two equations, we can get that u is equals to 2 and half f is equals to 6. That means f is equals to 12. Here it is said moving with uniform acceleration. That means f is constant 
and the initial velocity is u and initial velocity must be constant for a bod moving body right body is starting the motion with a constant velocity that is u it is not a variable quantity and it is said that the body is moving with uniform acceleration so f is also constant so half f uh, that is 6 must be constant so the right option is dimensional constant option 2 uh, from the calculation we get that 6 and 2 both quantities have dimension and uh, 2 is equals to the initial velocity and 6 is equals to half of the acceleration initial velocity and half of the acceleration both are constant so the final answer is dimensional constant thank you everyone for watching the video please subscribe the channel and share with your friends and like the video and if you want something more uh, from this from these uh, chapters or from any other chapter of physics uh, you can write in the comment section thank you everyone